Hi, YouTube. Come on, dude, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Something really handy when working with JavaScript on Laravel is that you can use the Ziggy package to literally expose your backend routes to the front end and just use them. One good example is here, for example, I have this link to the chat and obviously here, what is a problem here is that if I change the route on the backend, this front end won't be updated automatically. And thanks to Ziggy, we can actually do something like this. I can go here and just call route and do something like chat index. And effectively, if I were to, you know, change the route on the back end for any reason, this route will be updated on my front end automatically. This is a very quick and easy and maintainable way of maintaining routes on the front end while keep keeping them in sync with the back end. However, one of the problems that people have said about Ziggy in the past is that Ziggy effectively exposes all of the backend routes to the front end. And that's effectively a problem. So if I go here, for example, you can see that I have literally this Ziggy property exposing all of my routes on the front end, including things like password of the plate or register or even sensitive topics uh, like verify email or verification send. And potentially, if you have, for example, something like an admin panel, this will expose all of those routes too. Now, something I have discovered is that Ziggy allows you to basically expose only the routes you really need. So I want to show you that today. What's up everyone, it's Nunu here, and if you are enjoying the content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's free, supports the channel, but also keeps you in the loop for the latest videos. Don't miss out and hit that subscribe button now. So by creating your own Ziggy configuration file, you can effectively just explain to Ziggy which routes you want to expose on the front end. So let me show you how I'm going to exactly use this on my AI personal coach app that I'm building. I'm going to move here into my uh, application and I'm going to open this configuration folder. And on this, I'm going to create a new file with the name ziggy.php. On this file, I'm going to open the PHP script tag and just return an array. Now, this array can have something called the only property, which allows me to specify which route names I want to expose on the front end. So, for example, if I have only these four routes exposed on Ziggy, and if I go to my welcome page, I refresh my welcome page, it will see that Ziggy will only expose those four routes. And so this is the way that you can literally uh, be explicit with Ziggy and specify only the public routes you wish to expose. And this is the way I'm also using Ziggy at the moment in all my projects. Boom. That was a good one. 